Hi, I'm Matt, and in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to set a special price on a product in Magento. So with that said, let's jump across to the Magento administration area, and we'll catch up there with you in a few moments' time. So Dave, we need a product which we can use in this example, and I know just the product because it's the furniture set which we were using in the other tutorials. Yay! So let's go to, or just let me word that differently, you should go to Catalog and then Manage Products. So then search and find a product which you would like to add a sale price to. In our case, it's the first one in the list, so we're going to go and click on that one. Now, generally, all the pricing information is held on the Prices tab on the left-hand side of the product pages. Now, Dave, can you see that we've got the special price filled in here? So right now, this product is available for sale for $699.99. Ooh, bargain. Bargain. So let's go and put this product on sale for $599.95. Now, if you just press save, that will put the products on sale, but that will put the products on sale indefinitely. You may also want to set a start from date or from date, and you can do this using the little date picker. So let me just highlight this on the screen for you. This extra little calendar icon next to the from price field, click onto that and you'll have a date picker. Now we're recording this on the 5th of May, but if you wanted this product to be on sale on the weekend, say starting from Saturday and then finishing on Monday, then choose your dates like so. So we've set a start date, from and then to. So let's go and have a look at this product on the website. But before we do that, we need to press save and continue edit. So while that's saving, let's go and find this product on our website. So I'm just going to copy the URL and nip across to our website. Now, I know that product in our garden, patio, and in our furniture section. There we go. So Dave, can you see that our product's currently $699 right now, and it's not on sale? Let's go back and change those dates. In fact, let's go and remove the dates. So let's remove the dates completely and then press save and continue edit. Wait for that to finish. Let's go back to our Magento website and refresh the page. And we'll now see that this product's now on sale. So there's the original price and we can now see that our product's on sale. And also if we click into the product, we'll also see that this item's got a special price as well. So there we go. We can see the original price and then we've got the sale price. Now, as we mentioned before, you can put products on sale indefinitely. That's what the special price field is for. However, we would strongly suggest setting a start from date and then crucially an end date so that the product is not indefinitely on sale. So like I said, we've set ours from the start date from the 5th of May, 2015, and we're gonna set this to finish on Monday, which is the 11th of May. And of course, if we go back and save the product, go to our Magento website, right click, and then reload, or of course, just press the refresh button on your web browser, you'll see this product is still on sale. However, on Monday, the sale will end and this product will then return back to its full price. Does that make sense, Dave? It does. And I now understand why all those sofa sellers in the UK are constantly running sales. They've just forgot to add the start and end date. <laughs> <laughs> they have indeed. Now, a little note here, just going off the script to touch is that if you did set a sale price and you didn't see the sale price come out on your Magento website, it's highly likely that you're using some form of caching mechanism on your Magento website. So I'm gonna just take you to the caches section. Again, we have a separate tutorial on this, so we are gonna go a little bit quickly, which is that if you go to system, then into cache management, then on the left-hand side, click on select all, and then press submit on the right-hand side. So if you didn't see the changes come out on your Magento website, it's highly likely it's something to do with cache and that action going back to system cache management should have cleared them out for you. Is that straightforward, Dave? That's super easy. Happy days. So with that said, from myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. 
So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.